Hey, what's up everyone? Once again, certainly not the temperatures, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, the winter weather has continued through this weekend, and the cold weather continues until Monday, and then it looks like another system is moving in for the central areas of the United States, from Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, Kentucky, and north. So it's kind of, as you can see here, an icy mix through Texas and Louisiana into parts of Arkansas and areas surrounding. But this system is going to bring definite snow for Tennessee, the Tennessee Valley, and up into Kentucky, Columbus, Ohio, and northeast. So that is for Monday night into Tuesday. So slippery rapid falling temperatures will occur it will get slippery a mix of snow and then icy mix for some but mostly snow is snow in the central areas to plunge deep into southern united states early this week this article was posted january 13 2018 at 11:39 a.m. and i noticed it in my google news feed and decided to share it so this article has not been updated as of today, so there could be more snowfall, there could be less snowfall, and it could change positions a bit as far as the directions it moves and the timing could change, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. A fresh plunge of Arctic air threatens to allow snow, an icy mix, and treacherous travel to unfold deep across the southern United States during the first half of the week. A strong dropping a strong pressure is dropping and a storm is dropping into the Midwest and Northeast. It will open the, open the gates up for colder air to spill into the southern U.S. early in the, in the very new week this week. The very new week. That's not even there, but I just read it. Oh, man. <clears throat> anyway, AccuWeather meteorologist said that, I think her name is Faith, it hurts, he hurts, Eret, Eretz, I don't know if I pronounced that name correctly, so hopefully I didn't mispronounce her name, but this surge of cold air will be accompanied by some wintry precipitation as well. The cold front ushering in the frigid air will sweep a band of snow and icy mix from the Texas to Tennessee, from all the way from Texas to Tennessee and Alabama, later Monday into Tuesday. So another round for Tennessee once again. Latest indications point toward a coating of a couple of inches of snow whitening I-40. So I-40 and parts north of there as well will be the most affected by uh, the snowfall. But we'll have to see. They state we'll have to see as as the storm progresses. From Little Rock, Arkansas to Nashville, Tennessee. Snow, or a mix of snow and ice, may coat the I-20 corridor from Dallas to Shreveport, Louisiana, as well, to Jackson, Mississippi, and Birmingham, Alabama. As the cold air continues to plunge southward Tuesday into Tuesday night, so will the snow and icy mix. Rain will change to freezing rain and or ice pellets or sleet in the Houston, Austin, and San Antonio areas, and even down into Laredo. Texas on Tuesday. At night, rain may mix with or change to a bit of ice down on to the I-10 corridor in Louisiana and deep south Texas, including Corpus Christi and McAllen. Or McAllen. I, I, don't, I think I, I said that correctly, but anyway, while any freezing rain is not expected to accrue enough for widespread power outages, just a coating of snow or ice is enough to make untreated roads, especially the untreated roads, slick in an area where high, tr high temperatures this time of year are generally, generally average in the 50s and 60s for that area. Untreated roads and sidewalks that are initially wet, they will definitely turn icy as the temperatures plummet. Bridges and overpasses would be the first to turn slippery because te temperatures, temperature conditions Monday will be in the 40s and 50s for many individuals, 60s for some, 
and then dropping from there, once again, similar to the last scenario, but the last scenario, we had 70s, 60s and 70s, and then it dropped. So, some crazy, interesting weather, which is to be expected, I suppose, and quite common now. Residents should prepare for disruptions to daily routines, including school delays or even cancellations, and road conditions to be bad. The wintry weather, winter, wintry weather that we see in de-icing operations may significantly delay airline passengers as well if you're taking a flight. How much moisture remains along the front will determine whether the snow and ice mix frizzles, fizzles, <laughs> frizzles, <laughs> whether it fizzles out before reaching Atlanta and Charlotte, North Carolina, or if it continues to march eastward across the southeast Tuesday night into Wednesday. So that will be that will be the uh, snow scenario listed here. This will be the snow scenario Tuesday night into Wednesday. <clears throat> the cold outbreak takes place in the high pressure system over on the west and the low pressure systems here at in the east. In the later scenario, the latter part, the snow and sleet may again fall as far south as the Gulf Coast of Alabama and northern Florida may see snow again as well. Their temperatures will be very cold in Florida once again as well. In either solution, snow may still blanket the Carolinas at midweek as a new storm takes shape near the coast. Ahead of this new snow-slash-ice threat, residents of cities such as Little Rock, Nashville, Birmingham, Atlanta, and Raleigh should make preliminary preparations for winter weather. Frigid air will sweep across much, a much larger area of the southern United States than where the snow and ice will fall. Highs for one or two days to Tuesday all the way to Thursday will be held below freezing from Oklahoma to the Tennessee Valley and 30s and 40s for Texas and the Carolinas, including 30s and 40s for northern Florida as highs. Nighttime temperatures will plunge into the 20s across northern Florida on Wednesday night. So Florida once again dealing with 20s and wind chill values even colder. Nighttime temperatures will plunge, just as I stated. Sensitive plants may be threatened also uh, across the interior of central Florida, including the Orlando Orlando area, as temperatures can dip below freezing and be extremely cold. The impending cold snap may lead to a re repeat of the frigid overnight lows that we've seen from earlier this month, but may be quicker to release its grip in many communities than before. The bitter cold that started the new year stunned the iguanas and sea turtles from Florida to the Tennessee coastline, which I reported on in a previous video you probably seen if you watched that video. Residents should make sure that vehicles, including tires, are in good shape. You just want to make sure your battery works properly. <clears throat> Excuse me. You want to make sure your battery works properly, and you want to make sure that it's good to have a portable jump starter on hand and your jumper cables. And if someone's not available to help you jump start your vehicle, which is pretty common now, but to uh, for that to take place where no one no one's there to help you, but so you need to probably have on hand a uh, portable jump starter. And also, some vehicles aren't compatible with others anymore, so it's kind of hard to tell who can uh, jump start someone else's vehicle. But at least that's what I've been told by different individuals out there. We've been told. But I will say that it's good to have a portable jump start on hand, uh, like an anchor or a shoemaker device, and have plenty of warm clothing and uh, have plenty of blankets or pillows if necessary, and um, have your tanks fueled up on full if possible, and uh, plenty of gas, plenty of gasoline in your vehicle, and uh, continue starting them because during this time of year, our vehicles. Uh, our truck is what's known as a cold starter, has a hard time in the cold. You have to start it a few times and then keep it running and push the pedal, let it let let it flow, and then let the gas flow, and then uh, and then let it get going, get started. And, uh, yeah, our Nissan does pretty good in the cold. It starts up very good, but it's just good to have the, uh, but the Sierra truck's kind of a cold starter, GMC Sierra.
So if you have a cold starter vehicle or what's known as that, well, a vehicle that has a hard time starting in the cold, then definitely try to keep them started and try to uh, keep them warmed up so uh, so that you'll, you'll know that they can uh, be dependable during this cold, cold snap. So anyway, just stay safe. Residents should make sure that vehicles, including tires, are in good shape. It's good to have salt or cat litter on hand for for the ice and snow issues if you deal with ice. So working or having them in working order, have some de-icer on hand. Last time I I had to we had to definitely use de-icer on our vehicles. So we without a doubt we had to use a lot of de-icer to um to open the doors and to be able to to get into the vehicle the vehicles we had we had to use de-icer it was frozen solid they were both frozen solid the 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 uh nissan and the gmc sierra truck were both the xterra and the truck were frozen solid we couldn't open them so yeah definitely have de-icer on hand that's a handy thing to have as well as well as a jump starter but residents should make sure their vehicles are in are in good shape heaters are working properly and just try to make sure your outdoor animals have proper shelter, and which we've taken care of our cats and dogs. Make sure they're, you know, properly fed, watered. Just keep them fed and watered, so that, uh, so that, and in a as warm of a warm as possible of a place, as you probably already are aware. And also keep any space heaters away from other items. That's pretty obvious. Following the departure of this storm, attention will finally turn toward a new system that may bring another period of winter, wintry weather to Texas later this week. So we'll see how that plays out and which direction that goes. So thank you for watching and uh, just stay safe. This is a must-see video for anyone looking to prepare for this system or just wanting to know what the weather conditions are going to be from uh next week we're supposed to be back to 60 degrees again by next saturday in our in our area so warming back up again so this is another outlook here and this is where the snow and wintry precipitation are expected so much love stay safe this has been a weather update video peace bye